Welcome to another Handyman Leatherman adventure. Today we are making a cold smoker. I like cold smoked cheese. Normally I use my barbecue grill here to make cold smoked cheese, but normally it has to be really cold outside. So, to do it year round, we're gonna use a refrigerator. Let's get started. Good cup of coffee is always good. Here's kind of what we're working with. So I bought, got up my Makita drill. I've got a couple different hole cutters, a couple adapters for my idea. We'll see how it all comes together. And then this is just a dryer fan. So it's gonna run the smoke into the refrigerator. So first things first, Cut some holes. Little metal tabs, we're going to bend them over on the inside. See how I bend it over? That's awesome. There we go. Well, let's go get the wife's opinion. So I was thinking instead of centering it. And then something like this, or we can raise it up a little higher, to give myself more clearance, and then drill right through there. Well, I think you're gonna have to raise it up because you're gonna have to, how are you gonna get the smoke smoke bomb in there? Down Anywhere to, in this area here, probably. Yeah. All yeah, right. I would say. Right there? I reckon. Maybe not there. Why don't you move it over? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's move it now after I drill a hole. There's 
a hole in the refrigerator. Dear handyman, dear handyman, there's a hole in the refrigerator. All right. Here's our other pipe. This is what we're hoping that's going to fit in here. It's a little snug, but we're going to figure something out. Super Tool 300. Love this thing. Now we just gotta bend over those tabs on the inside. Looks pretty good. I'd like to put some kind of collar around it to make it look a little cleaner. Let's look inside. And there we go. I cut all those tabs and I bent them over. So, so far so good. Now, we gotta figure out where to put the uh, hole on the top as the like, little chimney or the smoke escape. Let's figure it out. All right, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm not sure, I don't wanna do a big giant hole. I think we're gonna try the two inch and uh, I can always Cut a bigger hole if I decide to, I guess. We want to kind of choke the smoke down to where it smokes our cheese up good enough. Where we want it, I mean. Does that look good? Is that there? What? Oh, you want me there? Thank you guys, I appreciate it. glasses you're right how's that Just like that, there we go. Safety's always first. Yeah, like how I didn't wear gloves. There's the hole. That looks a nice clean hole. 
not planning on putting anything in there. I'm just going to leave the hole. So, and here's the rack. We're going to put some wire mesh on there. First of all, let's plug this thing in and make sure it still works after I cut holes in it. <laughs> Ran the cord through the door. Hey, look at the lights on. Okay, I'm going to get this all swept out. Air balance. Okay, we're going to Direct cold air is rigid. Yeah, we're gonna we want this to be as cold as possible. We're cold smoking And this is already set on the coolest All right I feel cool air I gotta plug my top though so that way it gets cool Just clamp down the, the pipe Oh, yeah, that ain't gonna go nowhere Man, this is going to be awesome. So I took the old shells out of it. They had glass on the top. It slid right off. I got these two cheap, flimsy metal things for like barbecuing and stuff. It's usually what I put the cheese on when I stick it inside the barbecue. We're going to zip tie these to the shelf and make our own smoking shelf. Found some bigger zip ties. Stole them from the wife. Don't tell her I stole her zip ties. Here we go. Alright, that is some tape for duck work. I'm going to seal that up for all the sharp edges. And here is the rack. So, let's fire this bad boy up. Okay, this is my tube. It's got a hole on one end and a solid on the other end. So it's called a smoker's tube. Here is my pellets. This is a hardwood pellet. It says mesquite. Fill it full of pellets. Simply just blow it out and let it smolder. Finally got it going. Other container was too small. It needs a lie down. 
and then it, I choked it choked it out it needs air so found this old bucket and the smoke smoke is really pouring in now let's see what it looks like it's hard to see in the camera but it's just pumping out of there Look at that smoke coming out of my refrigerator. How could that be? Oh wait, look, there's a pipe. Ah. Someone has a coal smoker to smoke their cheese. Looks like the smoke stopped. And as you can see, I put a couple lag bolts underneath there to allow a little bit of air to come up underneath there because the last time I did it in this bucket right here it sealed itself off and quit smoldering so you got to have a little bit of air and it's all done that turned out really well Let's go check our cheese There it is. See, we got room for several racks in here. I moved it down after we got started just because I wanted the smoke to get right on it. So let's go try out this cheese. Oh yeah. It smells so good. That's good. That's really good. I discovered that some of the smoke was sneaking into the freezer area, so we're going to have to duct tape that off next time. And then I could probably choke down that hole, get a piece of heavy metal, just slide over that hole. I think I could even choke it down some more to probably even adjust the flavor even better. But switching it over from that five gallon bucket to the other, other bucket, that turned out to be the key. That thing just worked perfectly. I had a big idea with that five gallon bucket, but I didn't think that my smoker tube was as big as that one. And it doesn't like to stand up, it likes to lay down. And that's what I always did in the barbecue grill. Thanks to my good friends, Odie and Diane, for giving me this wonderful, wonderful refrigerator. This whole build cost me about $25. I already had everything else. And a person can use a jigsaw and a drill bit to cut those holes. You don't have to have a high dollar hole saw like I did. Get you a free refrigerator that works. A couple dryer vents and attachments. You got yourself a cold smoker. This was a fun project. So until I see you guys again, everybody take care. Mmm, so good.